Today I bought the cheapest hard drive on Amazon. We're gonna find out if I wasted a whole bunch of money or if it's totally worth it. So I got this guy off of Amazon renewed. Yeah, I I know, it's, this could be really hit or miss and we're gonna find out with this one I got today. For 16 terabytes, I paid $169. And the nice thing about getting it from Amazon is you can also pay for their like three year protection plan that's like the data backup. And so for an extra like 15 bucks, you can have a three year warranty on this because I'm sure that Western Digital uh, who makes this is not going to warranty a renewed by Amazon hard drive. I don't know about that, but uh, I know that this guy is uh, at least got three years of protection that I paid for. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. See if there's any glaring details on this renewed hard drive. First thing I see when I open the box here is uh, lots of uh, bubble padding. It is locked in there. We even have a hi there from Amazon Renewed. All right, so let's go ahead and break this guy free. They are smart enough to wrap it in uh, ESD or electrostatic discharge uh, plastic and it is sealed in here. They sealed it in there, but you can see Actually, you know, we'll just pull it out the rest of the way. Why not? Here is our new hard drive. This is the biggest hard drive I've ever owned. Big, boring, Western digital hard drive. 7200 RPM. It's a DC HC 550. I'm seeing an extra plug here. Right there. Got an extra plug. I'm not sure what that's for. I guess all I can do is plug it in and find out, right? All right, so on my desktop, um, hard drives are loaded. Uh, it's got an easy loading slot, <laughs> per se. So it has this cool bracket here, and uh, you can just pull these guys out, and it just uses these little pins on here. Right there, and right there. And these this will just flex out around your hard drive, so we'll take our new hard drive and... Let's see, drop it in like this. See if, yeah, it looks like our pins are reaching. This guy, it, it's a lot heavier and I'm pretty sure it's thicker. Yeah, just a little bit, but it definitely is thicker than my uh, one terabyte hard drive that we're pulling out right now. And then uh, these guys go in with the uh, circuit side up. You keep, keep pushing until it like clicks once to make sure that we're seated in our SATA plugs in the back. Then I'm going to go ahead and leave this open, turn it on, and see if it recognizes it. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> this is stressful. Okay. Do I get any pop-ups? Saying, hey, you put in a new hard drive. So if we go into File Explorer, go to this PC, it doesn't even see the drive. So we'll have to go and uh, I think I initialize it. So if we go to our start button and type in disk management. There we go. There we go, disk management. Oh. Initialize disk. Let's try GPT. Well, there it is, all unallocated. We can see we have our uh, external hard drive that's plugged in via USB. And then we have our C drive right here. It's a one terabyte SSD. And then we have our two terabyte drive that's down here at the bottom. And then we have our new 16 terabyte, which is actually 14.91, let's see, 14.901.98 gigs is 16 terabytes. Let's see here. New simple volume, next. Yeah, max. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, yes, it will be E. And NTFS is just fine. We're gonna rename it 16TB. Okay. 
finish and it's ready. So now we should be able to go to our main window here and it just popped itself up. There it is. There you go, you guys. That's that's how you, you get it all set up. So it doesn't look like there's anything in it, but it is all set up and alive now. And the first thing we really want to check is how used this really is. Where it is refurbished, was it used for like crypto mining? Was it on for hours upon hours? I'll show you an example. Like, granted, I haven't done crypto mining on any of my stuff, but I know that this guy is really old, my external hard drive that I keep up here. Let's go ahead and open Crystal Disk Info. Uh, it's a program that uh, basically does a history check on all of your hard drives for you and can tell you the life and how they're doing. We're now gonna check everything out. So we can see my SSD is 99% good. What we really wanna pay attention to is right here. We have power on hours. So if we go over to my SSD for my, you know, what runs my computer, this computer has been on for 2,469 hours, power on hours. So if we go over to our um, two terabyte drive, this is 23,000 hours. That is our backup drive. So it was a used hard drive when I got it, and then I now use it just for data backup and file storage. Um, so it's been going for 23,000 hours. Still says health status is good. That's great to see. Uh, let's go ahead and skip over E, because that's our new one. Let's go ahead and go to G. That is our external hard drive here. And this has 16,000 hours, or it even has a little, come on, one year, <laughs> 341 days and 16 hours of constant on time. Uh, so it's pretty old, but it still says health status is good. That's good to see. It's getting almost full too, but we're going to go ahead and jump over to our new one. Power on hours is zero. That's interesting. So whoever did the refurbishment on this, this isn't just like an eBay wiped hard drive. This is like a legitimately refurbished hard drive. So. I'm inclined to think that this is a really, really, really good deal. Okay, the only other thing I can think of is to do the uh, the actual Crystal Disk benchmark. Let's go ahead and run it on E for uh, one gigabyte five times. Go. This could take a while. So we'll come back once that test is done. I'm gonna run it on this hard drive here. The 16 terabyte drive is what it's running right now. And then I'll compare it to my other hard drive. Granted, there are some stark differences. This is a 7200 uh, RPM, so it runs faster hard drive, where my uh, other one here is a 5400 RPM drive. Let's see what this guy is. But you know what? I really should throw this guy back in because this is a 7200 Western Digital Blue one terabyte drive. So maybe I'll throw this guy back in too and run a test on it. So uh, we'll be back in a minute with some test results. All right, so that uh, that looks pretty good. Let's, uh, I actually have it pulled up here on my computer screen and I'll kind of flip through these if I can for you to make this uh, consumable. But our 16 terabyte drive here, it at 7200 RPM is getting 230, megabytes per second read speed and 224 write speed so to 227 so overall that's actually pretty good compared to my other 7200 rpm i got a one terabyte hard drive over here but it's also it's only getting 180 to 160 let's see 180 181 168 171 so our read write speeds are fairly slow not fairly slow, it's very slow when we compare it to things like our SSD that gets like 3,000, 2,400 write, 3,400 reading. Like, that's a big stark difference. However, but when we're going spinning disk hard drive to spinning disk hard drive, it's not as bad when we're looking at like, actually, I actually pulled that hard drive out. That is my uh, two terabyte, this is a uh, Western Digital Purple surveillance hard drive. Honestly, uh, I, I've tried to do a lot of research on this stuff before making this video, and these guys, there's not a whole lot of information telling me like what makes it 
special for surveillance? Like, what are they doing differently that makes it better for that versus gaming or anything else? Like, does it really matter? Or is are all hard drives kind of created equal? They just, you know, have, like, the, there's a standard level of specs. Or is there a level of specs that they're not telling us about? I don't know. The 16 terabyte drive, the new one, is renewed, uh, is going 230 megabytes per second, but our two terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive is only doing 106, 107 megabytes per second read write, like pretty slow. This guy is not quick, but still nothing like an SSD. So if you need speed for like games or file transfer, this, that, and the other, I definitely, you, ha you gotta get an SSD these days. They're just so affordable. This one terabyte one does cost a little bit more and this one's three, four years old. So you may not be able to find the exact same drive, but I'll try and link to this drive that I got now. This, uh, it's in here, I should stop pointing down here. This is not that drive here. You can see this side, they all look the same there. <laughs> uh, so my new 16 terabyte drive, I'll link that down in the description for these Amazon renewed ones. That's, that's a killer deal. And then I'll also try and link my SSD so you can see what I'm referring to. Um, I did do a video, so actually I'll link that up in this corner? This corner. I think it's that corner. I can never remember. But uh, it'll be up in a corner of the screen or down in the description. You'll be able to find a link to it. I'd say uh, it's, it's worth the cash. For like $169, that's a pretty decent deal. I, I, I'd pull the trigger again. However, I got a future video coming for you. I'm gonna compare this renewed hard drive to brand new hard drives. Compare this versus like the newest top of the line and not the cheapest one on Amazon, but maybe even the most expensive 16 terabyte hard drive on Amazon. So we might check that out and compare it to this guy here. Uh, probably not super soon. Uh, I'm gonna have to save up some money for that one, but uh, if maybe you are uh, SanDisk Western Digital, uh, reach out to me, we can uh, work something out. <laughs> I have storage needs. I know that there's a lot of information I didn't cover because I'm not like a traditional IT guy. I do like computers and all of the cool accessories that come with them. I learned about this Crystal Disk Info recently and I found that quite interesting and I was glad I found it to be able to kind of compare these to see where they are in their lifespan, how they're holding up, things like that. And you know, it says that our health status is good on all of them, so I'm not terribly worried, but I'm not doing anything crazy huge in my videos. Let me know what you guys think. If you have additional questions around a hard drive like this that comes from Amazon as renewed, is there something nefarious that I need to watch out for? Or maybe, maybe there's something even cooler that you know about. Let me know in the comments below. I reply to all my comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Again, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so using the links down in the description do help to support this channel with no additional cost to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.